Hi everyone, let's talk about the game, which I just did a playthrough for along with Rachel. I'll be linked in the description or somewhere on the screen if you'd like to check that out. Uh, so yeah, the, the game is hard to search, but uh, on the upside, absolutely fantastic cooperative game. You know, one of the best fillers around and still after, you know, four or five years of playing it. I don't think it's quite five years. That's that's uh, <laughs> it's about three or four years, isn't it? Yeah, still always keen for a game. It's all one. It's always one of those filler games that's kind of on the tip of my tongue when uh, suggesting one. So it follows kind of it kind of sits in between. It's, it's not quite, you know, the mind where nobody's allowed to talk. Uh, you, you've got limited information. You, you're not allowed to talk about the, the numbers in your hand, but you can kind of vaguely talk about how much you want to go or the piles you kind of want to go in and, or more importantly, don't want other people to play in because it will mess you up. You're trying to play all of the cards out to the table and uh, that, that's how you win. Your score is negative based on how many cards that you had left. And so the, the, the kind of, the, the big trick of the game is that you have to play two cards on your turn. That is what will mess you up because it's, it would be fine having all of these cards out there. If you could pass your turn or only play one sometimes, that would, uh, that would cover you in most situations. But having to play two cards it always, it always just messes everything up. Everyone has got all of these grand plans and then you just end up with a hand of cards that maybe early on in the middle or later on they end up being really high or low numbers when the piles just aren't going that way. And because of the fact of you you have to play two cards, you know, nobody can be that mad at you when you mess up uh, certain piles. It's just inevitable. And the game is all about, you know, kind of mitigating that and seeing if you can recover from that. Uh, so that's it's actually two main things. That's one of the the big twists in it, forcing you to have to play two cards when you you might have just squeaked through with one. Uh, but also the ten trick, because you know it, it's it's luck of the draw plays a part in it, of course. Sometimes you are just going to end up with you know a few people with such a bad run of cards that it's just going to ruin you too soon. And as much as you try and get a handle on it you're just kind of circling the drain until you finally run out of cards but that it's it's not the main factor of it the interplay between uh, the players is a, uh, a a much bigger element and you're know, mitigating that is the 10 trick in that you, know, you there are two piles going down two piles going up that you need to play numbers to but if you have a, a card that is 10 in the opposite direction, so if you have a 22 on the pile that's going up, if you have a 12 in your hand, you can play that on there and take the pile back down. So that's where you aren't completely ruined. If somebody's made, you know, not a terrible move, but you know, a, a devastating move to a particular pile, it's not all lost. And sometimes you can end up with such brilliant combos, either just in your hand or amongst m multiple hands where you know, a, a, a pile has gone right up to, you know, 64 and just, you know, you've been waiting for this uh, perfect move and it's made even better by that card that's out there because you've got the 54, the 44, the 34, the 24, and you can bring it right down. You know, this doesn't always happen like that, but it's incredibly satisfying when it does. And it's a game of kind of, for a game that is essentially just, it's a deck of 99 cards, 98 cards, and you're playing those cards to four piles and, you know, it's a, it's a, Completely abstract game. There's no theme to it. Uh, there is some lovely art if you've got the the Pandasaurus version, and there is some terrifying art if you've got the original uh, NSV version. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, for for a game that is you know so abstract, it is full of kind of tension and drama. In you know you you know, desperately need that you desperately want this pile to be held, and you know that you've only just gone, and now there's three or four people until your turn again, and so there's practically no chance that that pile is going to be held or you know whether it's a pile you're desperate for or not somebody is going to end up with a turn where they have to absolutely decimate uh, a pile and it looks like it's ruining your chances but then somebody managed to, to lay a load of uh, 10 tricks down and sort it all out it's brilliant the the kind of ebb and flow that just naturally happens out of uh, the game and yeah we've played it countless times over the years and I'm still keen to play it now. And there is, you know, there's little expansions. There's um, the game On Fire, I believe is the expansion that, I don't think it's 
come out for the Pandasaurus version of the game, but that's where the uh, the 11, 22, 33, 44, etc. Uh, are a special colour, and if you have those in your hand, you have to play them. Uh, there's the game Extreme, where certain cards have action spaces on. I haven't actually played that one. Uh, but there's the game Face to Face, which I did a playthrough for a while ago, which is a two-player only version, where you are trying each to win, but you can play cards to the opponent's piles, which, you know, ordinarily would be kind of more confrontational and stuff than we would like. But the the trick in that is you can only play cards to other players' piles if you're helping them. And you will want to play cards to other players' piles because it's the way that you refill your hand. But anyway, that's that's a different game. I think the game is absolutely fantastic. It's really weird just saying the game over and over again, but it is what it's called. Uh, and yeah, the, the playthrough will hopefully give you a better idea of whether you yourself would like it, but we absolutely love it. The game. Bye, everyone.